Secretary. Um, it seems there's a lot of history here as far as your, I don't say interest in the Heat, but a team that you've looked at over the years, competed against over the years. We know the Dwayne relationship, some of the other things. How exciting is it to go from, no offense, the bottom of the playoff race to the middle of the playoff race, to play in meaningful games now, and just to be a part of whatever meaning it holds for you, the Miami Heat? Yeah, uh, it's been no secret, you know, how much love I, you know, have for Miami Heat growing up and, and D-Wade, so this is definitely a full circle moment. And, uh, you know, I'm just happy to, to to be back on that stage again in the playoff races and stuff like that, so it's huge. Terry, what adjustments would you envision being on a team with four other 20-point-a-game scores? Uh, like, like I said, I'm, I'm not here to step on nobody's toes. Obviously, I want to be me. Uh, but, you know, I'm just here to, to contribute and help this team, uh, you know, get over that hump. And that's what I want to do. Terry, do you have any pre-established relationship with BAM? And, and how do you think you and BAM's pick-and-roll chemistry can kind of work together? Uh, I think we just both competitors, so we always got that respect when we playing against each other now. Uh, both on the same team is, 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 is huge for both of us, and I think uh, the pick and roll is going to be special. Uh, you know, you got to pick your poison, and, you know, I love playing with him. I always respect him. Question for you about uh, you mentioned D. Wade and the jersey swap. We're curious what you did with the jersey. Where is it, and what, does, what did it mean to you to have that experience with D. Wade? Oh, it meant everything. Uh, you know, just to get that opportunity to, to, to trade jerseys, play against them. Uh, after all these years, I've been watching and stuff. So, yeah, I definitely still got the jersey hung up. So, that's not going nowhere. Being a player who's somewhat of a student of the game, you know what's here. You maybe you've seen what's been missing with the low-scoring games. Your skill set and what you do, can you just sort of give us maybe a few specifics in mind? How do you think that you can best augment what's here and make it better? Uh, just the toughness, add the toughness for sure. Uh, definitely a guy that can, you know, that's that's not selfish. Uh, and, you know, want to wanna, wanna look for my, myself and look for my teammates. So definitely just being part of the heat culture, I think I fit right in. And I'll be ready to play right away. Ter Terry, how did uh, your two years at Louisville playing for Rick Pitino help prepare you for this career you have in the NBA right now? Uh, it, it helped tremendously. Uh, you know, I thank him, you know, every chance I get. He definitely just from off the court and on the court uh, helping me get my mind right to be ready for this stage, and he definitely did that. So it's huge. Last question back here. Terry, just what were the first initial conversations like with Spo? Does he want you to be yourself? Uh, is this going to be a slow blend into this process? What were those first conversations like with Eric? Uh, definitely just, you know, want to take my time. We know things not going to be perfect right away. Uh, obviously, you, you know, you, you, you see the testament of the team and see how things is going. But, uh, you know, like I said, I feel like I fit, fit the heat culture and I'm coming right in is to uh, pick things up on the defensive side and let everything else take care of itself. We are basketball players, so we'll figure it out. All right, Terry, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Thanks, everyone, for coming you. early.